Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, Raila Molo Dinga took the Azimio campaign back to Western Region at Buhungo Stadium in Kakamega County. This is the last rally Raila Odinga is having in Kakamega ahead of general election. The turnout was good, super amazing. You look at the crowd and the attendance is actually something to celebrate for the Azimio side. This is a signature of what might be reflected on the ballot in this election. And uh, there are several things that have happened in Kakamega when bishops decided to come out to bless, curse, and prophesy. <laughs> Number one, the bishops came out to endorse Raila Molo Dinga as their president in this election. Number two, they went to an extent of cursing those people who have been coming to Kakamega County and give out handout money from proceeds of corruption to confuse the electorate so that they can have their votes. Again, they went on accent of cursing those people who have been stealing Raila Molo Dinga's victory. And the last prophecy they are doing to Raila Molo Dinga at Bohungu, they have told Raila Molo Dinga that they are prophesizing his win, and when Raila Odinga will come back to Kakamega, he should come as the president-elect. When Mother Karua will come back to Kakamega, she will be coming as the deputy president-elect. I wanted to listen to the bishop shortly. After this, we are going to continue with this conversation. comfortable with the leadership of His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga since he is a Christian, SEK believer, a man of his word, a man who has interest of Kenyans at his heart. May God bless Raila and his entire coming government, and may God bless Kenya. Tumelewana! Ekunganga Shieno! Ekunganga Befet Kura! Ekunganga Vanuli Varaila! Avamena Vanga Isha Raila! Lacho Umurai Kura! Betsava Munula! Omuda Mwifi! Omudu Haini Kadra! Riswa! Riswa! Pale Riswa! Riswa! Pale Ju! Riswa! Avajan Rano Bakaba Pesa Kaufisani! Kate Kahukoya Sio Wana Ikura I Hoere! Aponyuma! Riswa! Kate Kahukoya Sio Wana Ikura Buda Hoere! Riswa! Weshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga Utakapo Rudi Kakamega Tena Utarudi Kama President Weshimiwa Baraza Utakapo Rudi Kwa Iki Wanja Tena Utarudi Kama Governor Weshimiwa Nishenga Utakapo Rudi Kwa Iki Wanja Utarudi Kama Senator Mama Mata Karua Utakapo Rudi Kwa Ika Kamega Utarudi Kama Deputy President Thank you, sir. Now we are continuing with our final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any on top comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, the prophecy for Raila Odinga and Mother Karua as a clear winner in this election is coming at a time, barely a day, when we had just witnessed wailing and weeping of tears from Karen. And the bishops are clear here. We are waiting to see if their prophecy is going to be fulfilled. And of course it can be possible if you are going to turn out and vote for Raila Amolo Dinga as a preferred president in this election. So turnout is going to matter in this election. 
Raila Molodinga stronghold need to turn out in big numbers and then speak their voice through the ballot. Why did the bishop went to an extent of cursing those people is referring to us, men who have been stealing Raila Molodinga's victory. <laughs> the bishop is well aware that the, pro the problem Raila Molodinga has had in this country when it comes to election, it is not a matter of winning election. What the bishop is telling the electorate is that Raila has been winning election, but we have some individuals who have been stealing his victory. But this time around, he's standing out to cast those people who have the same mind in this election to steal Raila Molodinga's victory. So the bishop is aware that Raila is going to win. But the obstacle has been that we have some individual who have been always ready to manipulate the election. So this time around, he took an opportunity to cast to cast such individual with same character and same mind with a plan to do the same in this election. <laughs> so we are waiting to see if Laila Monodinga's vote is going to be secured and uh, watch to wait and see if he will be announced the winner in this election. I don't know who have been stealing Laila Monodinga votes, but maybe you are aware. <laughs> and uh, who in this election is going is planning to steal the election because we have been seeing Raila complaining about the IBC but William Ruto has been busy defending the IBC so you can guess the bishop went to an extent of cursing <laughs> the bishop was cursing the people who have been bringing money as handout to the electorate in Western region from process of corruption. You are aware of some individuals who have been giving out money when they get to campaign. In fact, before the official announcement of the campaign calendar, we have been seeing William Samaruto coming to Western region and dishing out money in millions. The bishop is telling the electorate, don't allow money given to you as handout to confuse you in this election and make a decision that is going to make you to regret after this election. Definitely, he's pointing at William Ruto. And if he's cursing the people who have been giving handout money, then that individual, it is William Samuel Ruto and his Kenya Kwanza side. <laughs> so that is a clear message the bishop is giving to the people. He's aware people have been taking out money. There's no problem. But the issue is, don't allow this money to confuse you when you get to the ballot. So that is the whole situation happening there. And if you look at this rally, it was so amazing. Uh, the turnout is very impressive. And remember, Raila is making his way back to Kakamega at a time when Raila Odinga has seen in the opinion polls. He is leading in all of the western region counties, just apart from one county. Raila is doing well in Vihiga, he's doing well in Kakamega, he's doing well in Busia, he's doing well well in Transoya. But it is only Bungoma where he's not performing good. So that tells you out of five counties in Western, four is strongly behind Raila Amolo Odinga. He only needs to struggle more in Bungoma. We are, we are going to do a separate uh, analysis as far as the opinion polls is concerned in western region <laughs> but the truth of the matter is that Raila Odinga is ahead of William Ruto in western region so this was not just a campaign uh, event this was just a meeting to remind the lawyers that they should wake up and vote for Raila Amol Odinga 
is a meeting that's to sensitize the electorate to turn out in their big numbers. And Raila was just going there to remind them that he's on ballot and he's here to serve them. Not really necessarily to campaign. So what we are waiting is to see how the turnout will be on ballot. And uh, the only journey that is remaining in Kakamega is for Governor Paranya to continue campaigning for Raila Odinga in the remaining few days ahead of this election. But Raila has had his final meeting in Kakamega County. I don't think he will be coming back to Kakamega for another campaign. This is the last campaign. The only thing people are waiting is to see Raila Odinga making his way in Kakamega County as president-elect Ama Kama President with Amekalia Kiti after he has been sweared in. Same thing to Mother Karua. And I'm also seeing the ODM governor in Kakamega leading, though the numbers that are giving to Fernandez Berada is quite exaggerated. Different there, Fernandez Berada and Amanala, it can be just a difference of 5 or 3% there. Not the way they're putting it there. In is it 12 or what? How you call that much? Though what we understand is that Kakamega and the entire western region is going to vote for Ella Odinga overwhelmingly. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.